Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below before, um, if you want to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this head. Thank you God for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles. All right. We have the, okay, the Nine of Cups, all right? And then we have the Seven of Cups, okay? So it looks like there's some relationship here. I don't think it has a, a status change. Like they're not your boyfriend, they're not your girlfriend, not your fiance, but it's a relationship where it has been kind of ongoing. Um, like a long-term love affair somebody a lot of wishful thinking a lot of hoping and dreaming wishful thinking fantasizing about what the relationship could be um, maybe even fantasizing about the sex and the sex that you will i'm heard in sexting and maybe even sending nudes and things of those natures because it's like you guys are separated okay you're separated but somebody is heavily obsessed with the idea of um, maybe even starting a family or having a, having a baby, getting pregnant. Maybe someone is also um, thinking about moving or making a move. Someone wants to know if the other person is going to move closer to them or close. There's an energy of, of obsession. There's also, for some of you who are with this person on a day-to-day, -day, there's like... Um, maybe sex magic there's also like somebody's putting something in somebody's food here i don't know to kind of keep them under some illusion these two cards together just don't i don't like them on uh, the nine of cups and the seven of cups um is is way too you know um watery is somebody's putting something in somebody's food or drink and keeping them under a spell or keeping them under some type of disillusionment Okay, um, maybe even keeping them high. This could be you, Sag. It could be the other person. Somebody doesn't want the other person to see who they really are or what they really have to bring to the table. Somebody could be using the other person for money, giving another party somebody else's money. Somebody is riding this wave, you know, this wave of the lap of luxury, the homes, the the houses, the cars, the jewelry, the everything, the trips. Somebody is taking pills or taking something just to function or stay, yeah, functionable or something about function. Somebody has a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of wishful thinking and hopes and prayers that this actually turns into something real because it's kind of... It's built on falsehood and you, you guys have been doing this for a while maybe hoping and wishing that this person move closer to you give you more of a commitment someone is hoping and wishing that someone would actually give them a commitment uh, take their relationship to the next level get married have a kid something of that nature someone is obsessed with it obsessed with procreating with this person obsessed with moving towards this person doing constant magic on this person um, Somebody is also wanting to maintain their autonomy, their independence, their, you know, singlehood. Yes, they care about this other person, but they want to maintain themselves. Somebody wants this relationship to move forward. Like they want it to really, really move forward, have some concrete, you know, foundation, backing ground. Again, something about moving, like a literal move. But at the same time, somebody feels like it's just, it's not real enough. So somebody wants like, they want some pentacles to show up, more than the three of pentacles. Um, you know, they want, of course, everybody wants the ten of pentacles type of life. Um, somebody just doesn't want this to be stagnated any longer. Somebody is like, look, I've been in this, I've been doing this. I've been hanging in here and not knowing where it's going to go. I've been doing all kind of spells and magic. Yeah, somebody's doing spells and magic. Um, 
somebody's doing sex magic also um this is an energy uh, an interesting energy this is um you know so by all means by any means somebody's trying to get what they want from you Sag or this is what you're doing you could be dealing with a water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio Pisces coming up heavy maybe even a little Scorpio here um somebody wants money this could be child support this could be legal matters um someone's trying to manifest what it is they feel like they deserve i heard before you use it all up or before you yeah use it all up i don't know what the hell that means um somebody is definitely overindulging overindulging in drugs sex rock and roll just living the life and so somebody is trying to get money before it's all gone um somebody is definitely on some type of drugs heavy drugs cocaine um crack whatever heroin um this is your reading if it resonates for you so I have to go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also meet me live here every tuesday thursday sunday night 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where you can ask a question you can also just tune in for the collective reading you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L coffee link thank you Sag many blessings to you take care